Former track star Erica McLean was in the fast lane to contend for a medal next year at the London Olympics. But a freak injury made that goal much more challenging than she ever thought. I am not a sprinter. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. We, my nickname actually used to be the turtle for the longest time. <laughs> Erica McLean is fine with never being the hare. It's the jackrabbit she'd rather identify with. McLean is a jumper. An All-American at Stanford, she holds school records in both long and triple jumps. In 2008, she qualified for her first Olympics at the age of 22. Her last jump at DNCA was better than probably about 25 to 35 percent of the guys in college. The stuff she was doing. I don't, I don't, I don't, the guys on the team can't do it. I mean, our best guy right now is only one foot better than Erica. <laughs> Stanford track coach Edric Florial brought McLean onto his staff after graduation. She helped the team while training for next year's Olympics in London. Her dream of being atop the medal stand suddenly disappeared during a routine practice jump in March. I had like the most miraculous jump, flew to the edge of the pit just a little bit too far. And my foot, my second phase, which was my, which is with my right foot, came down right on the edge of the sand pit, so right where the sand meets the edge of the runway, and it popped my ankle fully over, um, where I'm literally looking down at the sole of my foot. <laughs> Her foot landed awkwardly in a sand crater, which wasn't raked properly. And typically after every jump, we rake the sand. This one time, we didn't rake the sand. So if your foot's here, it was flipped all the way, so where you're kind of like folded in your arch, like your arch is folded up to your shin bone. And I felt like a wounded animal. And like, you know, if that's what you find an animal in the forest, like a deer, I think of deers all the time, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, you find an animal in the forest, their, their leg broken or something, you know, so it's shoot it. Have you ever seen anything like it? Uh, on YouTube I have, <laughs> but, but live to a person you actually train, no. This is where the shin bones came out. The McLean suffered what's called an open dislocation. Her tibia and fibula bones penetrated the skin. Miraculously, nothing was broken. For over 30 minutes, Coach Florial laid on top of her in the pit, shielding her from the gruesome injury while the paramedics arrived. I screamed at the top of my lungs before they got me to just like calm down. I was like stroking my head, laying in the sand, and I'm like, Coach my foot, coach my foot, like it's going to have to be amputated. Thankfully, the injury wasn't that extreme, but she endured two surgeries, one to reset the foot and the other to remove the sand from the inside of her leg. I just saw everything flashing through. I was like, it's over, my life is over. There goes jumping, goodbye Olympics, like. Two months recovered from the injury, McLean was back on her feet. I was wearing my Converse yesterday. I was so excited. Like. When I first started walking, I literally, you know, kids get amazed kind of when they start walking, they just start looking at their feet and like, like, <laughs> like literally I was standing there like that. I was like looking at my feet and I was like wiggling and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> on two feet. <laughs> it's so exciting. McLean hopes to trade the Converse for track shoes soon. Her doctors say she could start jumping as early as July. But it would be an extreme challenge for her to make a trip to London next year. If anything, they're going to need to hold me back. <laughs> you can conceive of things that even physicians can't conceive. I had a knee injury and they told me I wouldn't jump again and I jumped again and again and again. I'm trying to keep a really good positive attitude and I think all those things combined with the support of my family and friends is probably be the winning ticket, I hope. <laughs> Erica's doctor says that if her ankle isn't strong enough for 2012 Olympics, she'd still have a shot in 2016. You can follow Erica's progress on her blog at eahops.com.